<gasps> What's up, our maiden? This is my self build vlog. It's the 10th of August and we finally got some good weather. I don't have a trade, I just have a go. And tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be a roofer. You see, it's time to finish that roof off. Since I've had the solar panels there, I've had it covered up. Even though the felt's underneath, we've had so much rain, so I've covered up the felt either side and the ridge as well. I need to whack all of that off. But I have been procrastinating. Do you procrastinate? A lot of people think that procrastination is a time management issue, reflecting laziness or lack of motivation. But it's actually none of these things. Research tells us that the cause of procrastination isn't linked to issues of self-regulation. Instead, it's actually linked to emotional regulation. Interesting, right? You'll make excuses and procrastinate when there's a risk you might fail at something. Were you scared of the complexity? Or you're uncertain about how things might turn out? So before you assume you need better time management skills, see if you can solve the emotional foundation of your procrastination first. It might work for you. Come on, Aid. If you do it wrong, you can always do it again. Don't worry about it. I wonder how many people are just thinking, Christ, what's this geezer on? I'm still messing with that, I'm still procrastinating. <sighs> I think it's just like, I, can, I, no, I know I can do it, I can do it, but I'm just like, I think, I just get a little bit scared, like, because obviously you don't want your roof to leak, and it's a bit of an issue like with these um, flashings around the solar panels. But, um, and then I've got to point up all the verges, and it's difficult because it's all up there. <sighs> Right, let's try and summarize my problem. This is the flashing for the solar panels. The flashing for the Velux is individual soakers like this. They cover up the tiles nicely. You can nail through, you get a proper fixing. This, obviously you can't nail through the flashing. So the only thing you can do is basically get a fixing on one side. So I emailed the technical department for GSE and said, right, what's the situation? What do you do? Do you use extra silicon on this side? And they said, no, don't bother. You just overlap it by 90 mil. You shove the foam strip in and then um, job done, basically. And they said they attached a drawing for slate, but they didn't. And slate's different to this. So the expanding foam, it, it, but it, it expands quite a lot, but it won't fill all of the gap because you still get the other gaps between the tiles, like on the verges. I just don't think it's going to work properly so I'm going to have to because it kicks up so much the tabs won't fit over the actual batten so I'm going to t cut that tab off leave the other one on even though it won't really do anything and then I'm going to use screws instead these are stainless steel and hopefully that will just grab in the batten and it'll be enough and I don't know whether it'll leak, but if it does, I'm just going to have to go at it with, I don't know, some flash band or something. But yeah, I just feel like it's uh, a bad design and it's not something that's... It's a shortcut from their engineers, really, because there is a better solution. I've lined it all the way up and keeping it the same as the Verge. The verge is probably slightly off, but the solar solar panels as well. So by the time you get up there, it's about 10, 15 mil too close. But I'm just going to go straight up. I'll go straight up over there. I can cut my verges either side the same. And then I'll, I'll sort it out in the middle if I need to. So I'm going to wipe this down and stick down that thing. I know, I'm going to cut my tabs off first. Oh, and the reason why it's not been done yet is because when I initially done it, it was so hot, I couldn't point up the sides. Then because I had an in-roof system on the solar panels, I needed more tile and halves. They only turned out a couple of weeks ago there from Hughes Grove Ridgings, but it was raining, so I couldn't do it. And uh, obviously, uh, Hughes Grove Ridgings, they're, they're complete morons there. So 
I ended up getting a refund for the insulation I didn't get and they refunded me pretty much a grand more than what I'd paid for initially. I don't think they knew what they was doing at all and they're just completely messed up. In the end, when they, phoned, they spoke to me last, they said they admitted that they paid me more even though it hadn't dropped into my account yet. I've got evidence that they've basically sent the payment, so I, I need to check. But So I'm quids in, but I'm not really because I am inconvenienced massively and I'm probably going to have to pay more for the insulation anyway because obviously prices have gone up. Let's use my tiles, so I'll cut all my tiles. Is it weird that I just think that I'm the only DIY that's ever going to do this? So I, I'm not sure whether to show, show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, I've, I've stuck the foam strip down and uh, I've done it so I think this is 38 mil. It's supposed to be a 20 mil gap between here minimum between these two bits. So obviously that's more than 20 mil and it fits nicely where the tile is going to go. Now the first tile is going to go here so and this flashing is in the way so I'm going to fold that over just get out of the way so it's hard that the tab won't bloody grab it Fucking ridiculous that one on. I don't know where this one's supposed to go. This ain't gonna that's gonna grab about fifteen. Okay. thought that was going to go through then oh just quickly if you ever get these solar panels and you get the in-roof system the bolts that they use to actually screw them down uh, they are a bit too long if you don't have counter buttons and they will try and just put them in anyway I, st I said to him I said you put holes in my felt and they was like no no we ain't no that no don't worry about it and I was just like no they, it was pushing on the felt the other side with a sharp point. And obviously, you look for reassurance from the professionals. What you got to realise is that their job is to basically fob you off because they don't want to do any more work. So <laughs> they, they did try and do that. And then eventually it got to the point where I said, look, I'm just... Like, he, he did work with me in the end and basically he, he said right the, that ain't going to work because I was going to put mastic in it he said no that's not really going to work and I was like right okay what's the other solution and I said right how about if I just cut the bolts and he said yeah you can do that he said you want me to do it and I said no don't worry I'll sort it out so I cut all the bolts for him so they were shorter let's carry on It looks like that might work okay but here's the issue see see down there so even though the foam's in there and that's going to expand to fill this gap there's still these gaps here so yeah i suppose we'll just see what happens if it comes to it i can always get some of that fix all stuff and just jam it all all down there point it with bloody mastic or something <laughs> right so I'm gonna smash that out um, I'll see what the time is I might do that side as well and then tomorrow I've got an issue with the ridge that I need to sort out 
So I'll see you then. Next day, I've done loads, but not much. I've only done that side. It's five o'clock. I know I started late, but it just seems crazy. I, I'm not really done anything. <laughs> uh, I still not. I don't, I don't feel. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with it. Um, I'll give you a quick close up. See, it's just a bit too gappy for me. So I need to finish off tiling either side. I'm not going to go all the way out to the end this time. I'm just going to make sure that I've got the tiles cut ready to go on because I don't want to put them on and then take them off to actually point them. The other side I need to take off to point them and put them back on, which is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. I've just sorted out the ridge. So I had a bit of an issue there. I didn't really know how to solve it, but I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just laughing to myself because I've been um, procrastinating again. You know, the other day I was procrastinating so I decided to film something about procrastination, which was me also procrastinating. Because I was still wanting to procrastinate, I then edited that short bit of me procrastinating. So I was procrastinating over talking about procrastinating because I was procrastinating because I, I was procrastinating previously. And since then I've been watching that back because I, I thought it was quite funny so I've been watching me procrastinating because I'm procrastinating but I was talking about procrastinating because I was procrastinating because previously I was procrastinating <laughs> do, you, do you follow that it's like um inception dream within a dream okay right I need to put more battens on this I'll show you so these are my tiles, these are hogbacks. This is what I was going to use and I only finished my battens here and here and I assumed that this was going to cover it but it doesn't really, there's only a gap of about 20 mil. So I need to put another tile on. In order to put another tile on I need another batten so I'm going to space it off 38 mil. I'm going to put this 50 mil batten on so it sits right down here. They're normally 100 mil exposed. This is about 85 and it will just make it easier for everything to sit and the ridge to sit on the mortar and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but there's still, with the gaps here, there's a chance if the mortar fails, the water's going to leak through. So what I'm actually going to do is once I put this batten in, I'm going to put flash band from here stuck to this tile and then I'm going to put this tile on. And then that will give me what I need and then I also need to put this in the middle because you need to put mechanical fixings because of the stupid regulations. So that's the reason why everyone does dry ridge, well dry ridges now because they can't be asked because they've got to mechanically fix it anyway, what's the point in pointing it? But it's, it's rubbish because I think that traditional pointing like wet ridge systems they look nicer the dry ridge fish systems are like terrible, they're horrible. So hopefully it's high enough it up here that the fixings that I have to put on, you won't see them or you won't really notice them. I'll know they're there. No one else would ever know that they're there, but it's just one of them things. I was going to try and risk it and just like not do it, but no, no, my luck. Like someone on here on YouTube don't like me, probably report me or something go oh you're gonna kill someone you don't you just put them on properly they're not gonna come off are they i ain't a dodgy builder am i right let's get this done okay well i'm gonna get all these scaffold planks off and i film this just in case something goes wrong in an ideal world Someone would be helping me. How am I going to do this? Why can't I fly like Peter Pan? It'd be so much easier. Like you can, can't even bloody see the screws. Who done this? Is it Dan? Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> oh, Christ, please don't fall. Oh, for fuck's sake. I cannot deal with this. It's getting on. Oh. With my leg, <laughs> can I? Toes. Can you imagine if I was like a fat bloke? that through did I? Six eaves tiles, thank god that weren't the rich tiles. <laughs> <sighs> The end of the following day, I'll tell you what, this, this roof is beating me. <laughs> I just thought, uh, why? I shouldn't have gone for the integrated panels. I shouldn't have done. No, I've, I haven't really done anything. I've put these bits on, last buttons. I've put the foam in between the raised bits. Just down there, you see? And I've cut the tiles that are going to go there. And it's just, everything takes forever just shuffling up and down this bloody ridge. It's so frustrating because had I have not gone for the integrated ones, I would have finished the roof already. I think I would have preferred, it was like 300 pounds more expensive I think it was to get the ones on the roof. And the bloke that I spoke to, he said, oh, it's a bit of a faff. If you do a new build, you just put them integrated because you could just whack them on, it's easy. I would have rather of them just given me the brackets and I put them in as I was tiling. Because, yeah, if you get the integrated ones, you can save on your tiles, but I'd already bought my tiles because of the lead times on stuff, so. I might, I might be glad once it's all done and dusted and then I've got all these extra tiles to do all these other little projects but it's an absolute pain in the arse. I've got all of the other tiles up on the scaffold to do each side and I just, I just don't want to do it anymore. I really don't want to do it. I think, right, it's gone late. Like, I think it's like nearly seven o'clock now. I'll start late. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna whack these tiles on these little ones, and then see where I'm meeting in the middle, how much I need to cut off, and then and then I've got to measure the verges and see how much I need to cut off them as well. Yeah. Quick update. I woke up late again today just because I'm just so tired. <laughs> I just can't, I just can't do it. It's too hard, like going up and down the roof on your own. Right, let, let's just show you uh, ridges, ridges. Right, so I have my screws come through in the post. These are 100 mil stainless steel. 
and they've got these little metal bent plates at the top there's a rubber washer there but it doesn't quite fit in the hole so I'm going to have to dob some silicon in there or something but yeah I was tempted I don't know whether this is a dumb thing but you see in these ridge tiles there's these little holes well I think old school you just wrap like I've got this stainless steel wire you just put the wire through wrap it round and now and just nail it into wherever you need to like in the ridge and then that's secured then so it's mechanically fixed at that point but it's only on one side because they've not put them through the other side I assume they're supposed to but I think this just might be a little bit easier even though I don't really want to do it I've done the tiles at the top they're all now down uh, just the same as like I would down at the eaves the eaves tiles and the ones up so I've done the same up there I've loaded out them tiles over there that's to do that side so I'm going to get that done now and then I'll load out this side and do that and then I've just got the verges to do but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm getting reinforcements so Dan's going to join me for a couple of days Saturday and Sunday then I'm going to go back to London for a couple of days and then on Wednesday I've got Tony coming he's coming for five days I think he is um, did you know Tony and Dan are brothers and on Wednesday as well I've also got Tim coming that's Tony and Dan's stepdad he's going to help me uh, do the ridge because he's recently done his one so it's just I'd rather just go there you go just sort it out for me please <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to be doing it or he's going to be doing it but it's just nice to have a little bit of help because this something like this yeah you, you can do it on your own but it's just it just takes so long just climbing up and down the roof all the bloody time i've put the flash in um i've put the flash band on the other side i'll quickly show you right, i've only done it on this side so far and then the next lot of tiles i'll show you they're going to go over that like that so if you look at it you won't see the flash band the ridge comes to about here actually and then so any water could potentially get through here and it had a good chance of getting behind this tile and through the felt so this just belt and braces you can do uh eaves tiles up here somehow i know tim done it on his roof but i don't know how that was done maybe he worked out the gauge all the way up to the ridge or something but yeah so i've got to do that side this side then I'll put the flash band on here tomorrow then I've got to put an extra batten down here to screw down to and then we'll do the ridges yeah I do like to do a bit of like montage b-roll with music but just doing it I just can't I haven't really got the time does anyone even like that stuff like what do you prefer me chatting rubbish <laughs> or me actually doing stuff to music I don't know I don't know what how to mix it up and check this bloody look dive bomb it's gone splat out all the way across there <sighs> not quite sure how to get that off and then next door's rescue pony is over there it just stands in the same spot most of the time and it looks over at me and i'm swear he's, he's mocking me He's mocking me, saying, you've not done that roof yet. Why are you taking so long? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> right, I'm just going to crack on. And um, I'll probably just do status updates. Until the end. Mm. Just a quick tip. I know someone that's watching this was doing one of their own roofs and they used these tiles. Um, when you now each each row that you need to so I'm doing nailed one two three nailed I drew draw a line all the way across and that way when you're going up the roof you can just visually see it instead of like having to count or you miss where you should be nailing so it's just easier uh, I'm not I'm not sure I'm gonna get anywhere near where I was gonna where I was planning to 
I think I'm just gonna have to do what I can and then because I need to rearrange the scaffold and I can't do it because Dan's not here it looks like he's got the Rona so I'm a bit effed in a way I'm just gonna try and get as much as I can do and uh, then I'm, I'm gonna go home I'll probably be here tomorrow as well but then I'm gonna go home and then I'll be back Wednesday and then whilst that was supposed to be Ridge Day it's gonna have to be pointing Verges Day and I pop down to build base because it's the closest place uh, I've got some sharp sand and I was gonna get some white cement but they wanted 15 pound a bag oh my god <laughs> it's gone up like 200 percent in the past six months it's ridiculous so I'm just gonna use my old cement in there I'll show you see I've got quite a few bags left over and that's from doing the wall can you believe it uh, I think I must have ordered enough for them to do four to one and they ended up doing five to one or something so I'm gonna have to sieve it through this I reckon I get away with it still I'm not paying 15 pound a bag they can do one I did ask the, the bloke that served me I said how much is your white cement now and he looked it up and he, he didn't give me a price he went and got the manager and went and asked the manager because obviously he knew that it's an absolute rip-off the manager didn't recognize me I didn't look at him and um, he just said yeah it's 15 pound I said no I'll leave it but I, I could I should have taken that opportunity to go look Adam you've forgotten who I am and you fucked me about so many times <sighs> I just couldn't bother to have the argument with them, so I just left it. Right, I've got this on. Almost done that side, didn't have quite enough tiles. So I had to get down to get some more tiles. And I put my roofing ladder up. And there was a pile of tiles up there. I kicked them as I was trying to get down. And two tiles scratched all the way down there, smashed on the floor. So yeah got some nice scratches in my panels now I would say if you're gonna do this and you do it on your own get an aluminium roofing ladder I paid 50 quid for that second hand I wish I would have just paid 200 pound and got an aluminium one it's such a like you just can't handle it right so I'll take 10 tiles up there now I've got to stay on the ridge then I've got to put this down it's just a belt strap around me and I'll do that and then I'm going to dismantle this scaffold I'll start taking about part the other bit I need to measure these and cut cut the verge tiles and then I'm oh I still need to do the top bit as well I need to put more tiles on the top <laughs> oh god Right. I might see you tomorrow. If not, see you Wednesday. chance for the mortar to go well it just looks nicer when you do it it's a bit hot I was dripping yesterday but you don't want to pay people all the time do you so you got to do it yourself I can understand why people do dry bridges sod it I think this looks better that was the final piece in the big bloody roof puzzle
Christ, what a bloody task and half. Could it have done it without your toe? Well done. Yeah, I mean, aluminium ladder over steel. I, like, you just, you just got to do it. And oh, it's, it's been exhausting, absolutely exhausting. And yeah, I'll probably get Rufus commenting on this saying, ah, oh, you're and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, I worked in an office, mate. Do you know what I mean? I've just done that. I've done quite well, I reckon. And thanks to Tim as well, he done these verges whilst I done the other side. So yeah, good job on that. And he gave me the idea of using a little jig. That's his. So I just done one a little bit upgraded. It's just about to piss it down with rain. Hopefully that mortar's gone off enough. I reckon it'll be all right. And uh, yeah, that's job done, job done. If you haven't already, give us a bloody thumbs up. Please do subscribe, hit the bell notification. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.